Welcome to Creator Classes. Introduction to the mediums we have covered in the previous lecture. The link is given in the description. We will not repeat the same concept in this lecture. So let's begin with this lecture. Let's have a triangle ABC and let's have the three mediums of the triangle. These are the three mediums. If you observe, the three mediums have divided the big triangle into six small triangles. These are the six small triangles formed by the three medians. There is a property of the median that is area of all of these six triangles will be equal to each other. Yes, it is a property of the median. That is the three medians in a triangle divide the triangle into six equal triangles. Area of all of these six triangles will be equal to each other. In this lecture, we will prove the area of all of these six triangles will be equal to each other. That is, we will prove the property of the median through animation and the visual tool. Before taking down the proof, you should know one of the fundamental of a triangle. The fundamental related to the area of the triangle and the ratio of the bases. This is one of the important fundamental of a triangle and you should know before taking down the proof of this property of the median. And do not skip this fundamental. This is very important and direct questions are generally asked based on this fundamental. And this fundamental will also be applicable in other part of the medians and other property of the segments of the triangle. So don't skip it. So let's start with this fundamental. Then we will take down the actual proof of the property of the medians. Let's take a triangle ABC. Let's draw a line from the vertex A meeting the side BC at point D. For this triangle ABD, the area will be half into base into height. Okay, this is the formula of area of triangle. Here BD is the base and let's take H as a height. The height is the perpendicular distance. So the area will be half into BD into H. Further, let's take the triangle ADC. Area of this triangle will be half into base into height. Let's take the base as DC. What will be the height for this triangle ADC? The height will be the perpendicular distance from the opposite vertex. So here the same H will be the height for this triangle ADC. Don't be confused that the height is coming outside the triangle. The height can come outside the triangle. Just it should be perpendicular from the base. Okay, and it should join the opposite vertex. So here H is fulfilling this condition. So H is the height for this triangle. So we got the area of this triangle as half into DC into H. If we divide the area of triangle ABD with the area of triangle ADC, we got half into BD into H upon half into DC into H. Okay, half and H will cancel out. We will remain with BD by DC. It means that ratio of area of two triangles with the same height is equal to ratio of their bases. If we assume BD as A and DC as B, that is the ratio of BD and DC is A is to B, then we can say the ratio of area of both of these triangles will be A is to B. It will be same as the ratio of the bases. This is the fundamental that will be used. For further better understanding of the concept, let's take a small example. Let's take a triangle ABE. Okay, AC and AD are the two lines which is joining from the vertex to the opposite sides. PC is A, CD is B and DE is C. Here in this figure, are you able to observe three triangles? Triangle ABC, triangle ACD and triangle ADE. The base of these triangles are given as A, B and C respectively. Or we can say the ratio of bases of these three triangles are A is to B is to C. Then the ratio of area of these triangles will also be in the ratio of A is to B is to C. Okay, this is the fundamental. Let's take a small problem. Refer the figure. Triangle ABC is given. BD is a line segment which is joining the vertex with the opposite side. AD is given as 2 and DC is given as 3. And area of triangle ABD is given as 20 cm square. We have to find the area of triangle BDC. Okay, two triangles are given in this figure. If we take AC as a base, we can say the ratio of AD to DC is 2 is to 3. 
एंड वी नो द रेशियो ऑफ एरिया ऑफ बोथ द ट्रैंगल्स इज इक्वल टू रेशियो ऑफ देयर बेसिस इफ द हाइट इज सेम एंड हाइट ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दिस ट्रैंगल इज सेम सो वी कैन से द रेशियो ऑफ एरिया ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दिस ट्रैंगल इज इक्वल टू रेशियो ऑफ देयर बेसिस दैट इज एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल ए बी डी अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल बी डी सी इज इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री एंड एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल ए बी डी इज गिवन एज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सो वी गॉट एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल बी डी सी एज थर्टी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर वाई बिकॉज रेशियो ऑफ देयर बेसिस इज टू इज टू थ्री ओके ओके गॉट द कॉन्सेप्ट रेशियो ऑफ एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल विल बी सेम एज रेशियो ऑफ देयर बेसिस दिस कॉन्सेप्ट वी विल यूज Now come back to our topic that is medians. Medians we have seen as a line segment joining vertex with the midpoint of the opposite side. Midpoint means ratio of these lengths will be one is to one. If we apply our area fundamental, can we say area of both of this triangle will be in the ratio of one is to one? Both of these triangles are having same height and ratio of bases is one is to one. So we got the median divides a triangle in two equal halves or two triangles of equal area. Similarly, we can say these medians also divide the triangles into equal halves. If you observe, these medians have divided the triangle into six equal parts. That is, area of all these triangles are equal, which will be one by six of the complete area. Okay, got the fundamental. The median divides the triangle into six equal parts. Okay. To further understand this concept, let's assume area of this complete triangle as six square unit. Okay. This is our assumption. We know median joins with the midpoint means ratio of BD is to DC will be one is to one. BD and DC both are equal to each other as D is the midpoint. So, as per our fundamental, can we say area of triangle ABD and area of triangle ADC will also be equal to each other? That is, in the ratio of one is to one. Why? Because ratio of their bases, that is BD is to DC, is also one is to one. And just now we have covered that the ratio of area of two triangles with the same height is equal to the ratio of their bases. So, BD is to DC is one is to one. So, area of triangle ABD and area of triangle ACD will also be one is to one. And we have assumed area of this complete triangle as six square unit, and area of triangle ABD will be half of six square unit, that is three square unit, and area of ACD will also be equal to three square unit. Okay. Further, we also know the centroid divide the median into the ratio of two is to one. If we take only the triangle ABD, can we say ratio of AG is to GD is equal to two is to one? And for both of these triangle, that is triangle ABD and triangle GBD, the bases are AG and GD, and the ratio of these bases are two is to one. So can we say ratio of area of triangle ABG and GBD is also two is to one? And just now we have seen that area of this complete triangle ABD is three square unit. So we will divide the three square unit into two portion, that is two is to one. So area of triangle ABG will be two square unit and area of triangle GBC will be one square unit. Okay, two plus one it is three and the ratio is also two is to one. Okay, got it. Further, if we take these two triangles, that is AFG and triangle BFG, area of this complete triangle that is ABG is two square unit, and we know CF is the median that is F is the midpoint. So can we say ratio of AF and FB is one is to one? Okay, F is the midpoint. And for the triangle AFG and BFG, AF and FB are the bases. And the ratio of AF and FB is one is to one. So we can say ratio of area of triangle AFG and GFB is also one is to one. And area of this complete triangle is two. So we can say area of these two triangles will be one and one square unit. Okay, got it. We have used the fundamental that is ratio of area of the triangles with equal heights is equal to ratio of their bases. So we got area of these three triangles as one square unit, one square unit, and one square unit. Similarly, we can calculate area of these three triangles as also equal to one square unit. Okay. In the starting, we have assumed area of this complete triangle ABC is equal to six square unit. So we got area of all these small triangles as one square unit. 
which is 1 by 6 of the complete area of the triangle. So we can say area of all these small triangles are equal that is equal to 1 by 6 of the area of the complete triangle ABC. Okay, this is the fundamental. So we got that the medians divide the area of the complete triangle into 6 equal portion which is 1 by 6 of the area of the complete triangle. So we have covered the proof. Hope you have liked the proof and you have enjoyed the animated content. That is our way of teaching. We believe in adding creativity to the learning through our enhanced advanced teaching tools. That is through animation and the visual tool. Apart from this lecture, we also have a course on segments of triangle and triangle center. Check the link in the description. We have covered everything from the basic to the advanced using the animation and the visual tool. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you very much for being with Creator Classes. Bye for now. Have a great day.